Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm calling today's card a picture swap card. I wanted to use some of the characters. These are from my past collections and I just wanted, to, I don't know, I just had in my mind to do these little picture cards and have them so that you could change, a, you know, the image. So you've got a different scene on the front of the card. So it says awesome, it's your birthday, but you can have any of those characters and you can use any stamps. You could use pattern papers, you could have sentiments, it's entirely up to you. And then you can just pop them in in you know any order that you want i have added a little bit of dimension there so it was catching slightly so i recommend these to be completely stamped images but how fun are they, they just look really cute so i've used my animal antics and i use the meerkat the elephant and the and heidi the hippo then this is my this was from the tower terrific towers set and i've used the awesome and then this is the photo booth props and i use quite a few there actually each character does have a different prop i'll link as much as i can in the description box below some of them sold out and then it started with me wanting to use heidi and um, heidi jerry the giraffe and it kind of went from there and then i've used the leafs from this set on all of the kind of little scenes and then for the background on the front of the card i used my leafy background embossing folder so first of all i'm starting off with a it's slightly just under six by six so this is a piece of a4 in half which will give you five and seven eighths so i've trimmed this to five and seven eighths by that length but if you've got 12 by six then just score along the 12 inch side at six and fold in half to for your card blank but you can put this on any size card that you want so i've got my card blank already and then i've just trimmed this piece here down to six by six ish and i'm just going to run that through and get that all embossed like i said you can use any backgrounds a lot of you might be using pattern papers for this but i just thought the leafy background works really well with the animal antics which was my one of my very first stamp sets so that's all embossed and then i'm using so I was going to just stick that onto the card, but then I thought it'd be quite nice to have a sentiment. So I'm going to have the awesome running down. So it's a top fold. So I'm having the awesome running down the left hand side. So I need to trim down my embossing just slightly. So I brought this in. I think it's about four and a half, five, something like that. I'll, I'll put the measurements in my blog. But like I said, because you can do this on any size you want, then, you know, just trim it down. But I've got that all ready and now I'm inking it up. So just laying down. First of all, this is mode lawn really randomly kind of inking it I'm not being you know very precious and then I'm brushing over the top of this with the I think it's the evergreen bow and then I go around the edges with the pine needles you can see that I've, I've shared this a few times with this embossing folder it's one of my favorites it's just by brushing the ink over the top it really lifts those leaves and it's just nice to have the kind of you know different tones of the green there and I just think it really helps it pop then I've gone back to the card base so this is that kind of six by six size and I'm just stamping the awesome along the left hand side there using the green is I can't remember where I think it's a do craft green you can see now how that's all going to look now I haven't stuck that down yet because I just wanted to kind of lay everything in place Next, I was going through my dies. Now, you can make this with a trimmer if you want, but the dies I've got here, so the largest one is four and a half by three and a quarter, and then the smaller frame inside is three by two and a quarter. So I'm just sitting it inside so it kind of looks like a Polaroid photo. So I've got the thicker section at the back, at, at the bottom, and then that thinner frame around the three sides there. So I've run that through my die machine. You can see I've got that cut, and then I've also just die cut the largest rectangle on its own. Next, I'm going to ink my sentiment. You want to do that before you start sticking everything down because it's going to be difficult to stamp onto it otherwise. So I've got the It's Your Birthday from the stamp set going along the bottom there and that's going to work with all of the images. Next, I want to create the... This is the very back one. So these aren't the little pull kind of tabs, I guess, with the characters on. This is the back one. So for this one, I'm using the meerkat. Now, the way I colour and decorate the meerkat is different to how you'll see it at the very end. I got to the end of the card during the Facebook Live and I thought I wasn't actually happy with the big hat on him. So I changed him and I wanted to add the leaves as well. So you'll see that at the very end of the video. Next, I've gone back to the frame and I'm using my thick foam clear foam tape. This is the dot and dab range. Again, I'll link it if I can find it in the description box. But you want to stick this along the three sides, leaving the top open because that's where you're going to slide your cards, your little picture cards inside. So this tape worked great because it's nice and thin. And then I'm adding thin red tape around the inside frame because I'm going to put a sheet of acetate. So this is optional. You don't have to add the acetate, but it just does give it that shiny effect, which looks quite good for the Polaroid photo. 
So I'm just releasing the backing paper and then I'm going to lay down the acetate. So just make sure your acetate covers your frame. Again, everybody's size is going to be different, so I've not given the measurements for those. But I'm just placing that down and just make sure that's you know completely flat and it's all secure on the sides. Next, you want to release the backing paper off of the foam tape. If you've got not the um, silicone foam tape like I've got here, then just use any foam tape and you can pop it onto some wax paper and then you can trim it with your scissors to thinner strips if you need to. And then I'm just laying that down now over the top. So you can see the meerkat there with his pirate's hat and his bow tie using the props. And then I've got that gap at the top ready for me to pop the other images in. So now I'm happy with how the card's going. I'm going to stick down that embossed piece, just making sure I've got a nice white frame there on all the sides. And that I'm using the cloud glue that's just going to add to the strength in it. Then you've got these pieces here, which we'll say these are the pull cards. These are two and a half by four and a quarter. But again, yours might vary depending on the frame size that you had. But it's an easy tutorial to follow and hopefully you'll be able to adapt this to the sizes that work for you. Now this is a one inch circle punch. I've just punched a couple. I actually end up making another pull tab because you'll see I add the elephant at the end. But these are one inch circles and I'm just stamping the word pull, which is from one of my stamp sets. But you could write pull, you could have an arrow. It's entirely up to you how you do this bit. And then I'm just adding some glue on, on the other half of that circle and then placing it behind one of those pull cards. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then with this one, again, I'm just going to add the glue onto the bottom half, but then I'm going to sit the disc over the top of that other one so I can make sure they all line up because it's nice that when they're inside, you know, they're all stacked on top of each other, that the pull tab all lines up rather than, you know, maybe being slightly off centre. So this way just ensures that you get everything in place. But you can see now I've got those two cards ready and they're going to slot nicely into the little pocket there. So it's starting to look really good. And then that's going to be placed on the front of the card on an angle. Now I'm going to pop this on high speed. I'm going to add some music just so you can see me stamp and decorate and colour these other pull tabs. So that is everything coloured and that's the card finish. So you'll see there I've got the hippo, the meerkat, the elephant and the giraffe. I used my coloured pencils with my blending solution and I've also added glossy accents to the eyes and just their tongue and other parts that I wanted to be shiny. And you see there they slot in really nicely. So there are three in there plus the back. You don't have to have three, you could just keep two. And if you want to layer up the foam, then you could add even more in there as well. But I'm really pleased with this one. I think it's come together really nicely. So as always, thank you for watching today. I'll link as much as I can in the description box below. And I'll be back again very soon with more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.